Hi, my name is Min Kao. I am a PhD candidate from UCLA. Today, I present the work on data generation using simulation technology to improve perception mechanism of autonomous vehicle. The outline of our presentation is as follows. First, we will introduce the background and motivation behind our work. Afterward, we go into detail how our data generation method works. And afterward, we will show you some of the result of improvement that our data generation method provided. And then on our future work, we will propose a multi-state model to take advantage of our proposed data generation method. Perception tasks are critical for autonomous vehicle to navigate around the environment and avoid accidents. However, most of the popular data sets that being used to train perception model, such as KD, Seascape, and Waymo, are under safe driving scenario, which means they don't get into any accident and they have like adequate lightning and uh, there's no severe weather presented. Because of this lack of training data under the general scenario, the perception model are prone to detection failure in real life scenario that can lead to accident. One of the examples of this is the Uber crash in 2018 where a self-driving car from Uber failed to detect the passing pedestrian and crashed into her. This occurred because the lightning is not adequate to show her from the far distance. One of the ways that we can tackle this issue is to use simulation software such as Carla. Simulation software allows the ability to generate a large amount of synthetic training data under a customized scenario that the user can create at will. However, the simulation software generate video camera image that is not very realistic, it's more video game-like. So uh, in order to increase the quality of this simulated video camera, we can incorporate style transfer model to add realism to it. This style transfer model can take in the segmentation mask generated from the simulation software and output the corresponding realistic camera image. This realistic version camera image can be used to augment the training data for the perception model. Our work will building up on this procedure, and this will be our contribution. First, we describe the procedure to generate synthetic training data using the color simulator. Afterward, we will enhance this synthetic data with the conditional generated adversarial network. We will then demonstrate the improvement on object recognition tasks under dangerous driving scenario when we train the perception model with the combination of real data and the enhanced synthetic data. By leveraging this new data generation approach, we propose a multi-state deep learning framework to take advantage of it. In this section, we will describe in detail our data generation method. First, the training data are collected from multiple sensors provided by color, such as inertial measurement unit, speedometer, LiDAR, depth camera, and segmentation camera. After that, the labels are generated as follows. We request the information of all the objects within 120 meter range of the simulated car. We then project the verdicts of these objects according to our car camera view to generate a bounding box. And the label, we will follow the KT dataset format because this is the most popular autonomous car training dataset. In table one is a label format for the KT dataset. We will use this label format for our data generation procedure. And second, we will generate the driving scenario for the car. So each driving scenario will be augmented with different weather conditions and time of day to alter the lightning of the scenario. We also use the writing description of accident from the police report to generate the driving instruction for the car in the simulation. This is to attempt to emulate the accident scenario. You can see the image to the right is the different weather condition as well as the time of day that the car are capable of generated. Afterward, we will try to enhance the quality of the synthetic data, particularly the camera image using the conditional generated adversarial model. This model will take in the segmentation camera image generated by Carla and output the realistic video camera version of it. This CGAN model has been trained previously on the Cscape dataset that has both the ground truth camera image alongside with the segmentation mask. The result of our implementation of the CGAN model is shown below. We were able to generate realistic camera image using only the segmentation mask. The generated camera image from the CGAN model combined with all the sensor data created by Carla will be used as a synthetic data set. This data set will be used in combination with the real life data sets to improve our model. In order to demonstrate that our data generation approach can help improve any existing perception model, 
we will use the YOLO and mobile net V2 as the base model. First, we will train these two models on two different data sets. One with only real data from Kitty and the Cityscape. Other is a combination of the real data and the synthetic data generated as described before. Then we will compare these model performance under dash cam image of bad weather condition. In the figure to the right, we demonstrate our experimental result under rain, snow, and night condition. Both YOLO and Mobile Net2 was able to draw more accurate bounding box, as well as have higher confidence for the generated bounding box. We performed the same testing procedure as before, but on accident scenario. The accident that we choose is the safe driving Uber car crash in 2018. We will use the frame from the video camera 30 seconds before the accident to test our model on. The result is shown in the figure to the right. Both YOLO and Mobile Net V2, after being trained on the combination of real and synthetic data, are able to detect the pedestrian earlier as well as generate more accurate bounding box. To take advantage of the data generation method we described before, we propose a multi-state deep learning perception framework. The motivation of this framework is to emulate the human learning experience, starting from the easy example, moving to a more difficult example. The model will use a pre-trained CN model that has regional proposal network to extract the features from the image. These extracted features will be fit to three different classifiers. Each classifier will be trained from a separate training dataset according to the classifier difficulty. The result of all of these classifiers, the result of all of these classifiers will be combined to form the final classification. We want to categorize the training sample difficulty based on the availability of the information within the image. We focus on three main aspects, occlusion level, number of objects in the image, and the bounding box area of the objects. How we determine easy, the criteria for easy, medium, and hard training sample is shown in the table below. The training procedure for our framework is shown in the image below. First, the architecture will only have an easy classifier being trained on the easy difficulty dataset. Only the way of the easy classifier is being modified in step one. The pre-trained CN and the RPN layer is frozen. The goal of this step is to allow the easy classifier to learn the core basic concept object recognition without the effect of occlusion, small size, or crowdedness. Step two follow the similar process as step one with the following change. The additional medium classifier will be added and the architecture is trained on the medium difficulty dataset with only the medium classifier layer being actively trained. The prediction result of the medium classifier and the easy classifier will be combined before being evaluated with the real world dataset. The goal of this set is to force the medium classifier to come up with new technique to detect object that is missed by the easy classifier due to the moderate effect of occlusion, small size of the object, and the crowdedness in the picture. And the third step is also the same as the second step with the addition of the hard classifier and being trained on the most difficult data set with severe occlusion, smaller object in the frame, and a lot of object crowdedness in the frame. Our framework is not limited to only three classifier. This procedure can be generalized with custom amount classifier that the user needed. The flexibility in this framework allows the user to choose a wide range of feature and difficulty that fit their task. In summary, we have shown how to combine the autonomous car simulation software with a style transfer deep learning model to generate high quality synthetic training data for perception tasks. We also demonstrate the improvement on object recognition tasks on bad weather and accident scenario when you train the model on the combination of real and synthetic data set. We also propose a multi-state deep learning perception framework to take advantage of the flexibility of our data generation method. Thanks for listening and we will check in any questions that you may have.